Hi friends. So I'm just going to show you what the piece pin wheel looks like. Um, you've got instructions and a template for it for a square that you're going to color and then cut. So um, I've already cut my square, but before you cut it, you're going to want to color it. Um, the instructions say to put words about how you feel about peace on one side. And then on the other side, you can draw pictures um, or what draw what makes you feel peaceful or just make it pretty, whatever you want to do. Um, and then when you're done, you're going to want to cut it. So you'll cut it not all the way to the center. So you'll leave about two inches between each cut from the corner to the center on the lines that are on the template. And then we are going to fold. See, it kind of looks like triangles. You got four triangles now. So we're going to fold one corner and it's going to be the same corner on each triangle to make the pinwheel. I am going to take um, my pin because you want a, a straight pin and my pencil because we're going to attach it to the eraser, stick the pin in there. I'm going to take my pin because it's a little easier. So I'm just going to take my pin and stick it through the first one corner and then I'm going to go to the next one, the next triangle, same corner. So I'm going to do maybe the right side corners. And then I'm going to stick the next one through because it's really hard to hold it down at the center and do this. So it's quite a bit easier to hold them with the pin stuck in them. And so once you got them all in like that, you're going to stick the pin through that center dot. See? And you'll have a pinwheel. And you'll want to, well, not quite yet because I got to stick it through the eraser. I'm going to stick it through the eraser and here we go and you can try it out outside or try to blow it <laughs> but um yeah if you stick your your pin through your eraser you gotta be careful because you might have the point side coming out um you can you know, play with it, let it go through the wind or stick it in a pot or in the ground and see how well it works. So I hope you enjoyed that. And I'm sure yours will look a lot better than mine because I didn't take a whole lot of time. So if you make a pinwheel, take a picture and send it to Amy so we can see what you made. All right. Thanks.